G'day everyone. With the emphasis on security and security of your data being higher than ever with breaches and hacks, etc., there's plenty of products out there which claim to be what we call a firewall, not for your network, but for your database. And typically these are products you buy and you put them on your app server or you, they sit there and they sniff your network. And what they do is they protect your database from erroneous SQL statements being fired at them. There's a fundamental limitation with that though. One is if it's running on an app server, then if someone bypasses the app server, then your firewall is ineffective. And if it sits there sniffing your network, then any attempts you want to do to have extra security, things like encrypting traffic on your network, generally is going to thwart the firewall product. Ideally, if you want to control what SQL statements are allowed to be run against your database with a firewall technology, that firewall technology should run in the database server itself. And with Oracle Database 23 AI, you can do exactly that. Let's have a look at a demo. So the first thing I'll do is I'll connect as a DBA and you can see even if I try turn on the firewall, the first thing I get is an error. The firewall is a privilege that you need to have inside the database if you're going to use its facilities. Obviously, we need to control the security of firewall products very carefully because it's going to form a barrier to keep bad people away. So the first thing you'll need to do is grant SQL firewall admin to the user you want to be able to configure the firewall. Now that I've done that, I can reconnect a system and call DBMS SQL firewall to enable the firewall. By default, that simply says we now have the ability to start implementing firewall rules on our database to control what can be run and what gets through the firewall. So the first thing I'll do is I'll create a capture for the username of Scott. Let's assume my application is running and connecting as the Scott schema. So I'm going to monitor everything that goes on in the Scott schema in order to build some firewall rules. Now this is the beauty of having a in database firewall as opposed to having something out on the network. What I'm going to do now is let the database simply uh, keep an eye on everything that happens as the Scott schema. I'm going to run my application in the normal way, and what's going to happen is SQLs are going to come flying through to the database, and every single one of them, the firewall is going to capture in order to know what a valid SQL is. It's a coming from the application. I probably want to allow it. I might even allow ad hoc queries to come in, but effectively I'm getting a list of all the valid SQL statements that are allowed to be run. So I've done a select star from employee, select star from the department number. I've done a department number and the maximum hire date. Let's assume this is the entirety of my simple application, just these three SQLs. Now that my application has been running for a little while, I reconnect as a DBA and I can stop the capture. I might let it run for an hour or a day, whatever I choose to do. Even just with that, I can now jump into my DBA SQL firewall capture logs. And you can see for the username of Scott, these are the SQLs that run. Now you might see a couple of others there. That's because I'm using SQL Plus and when I connect to Scott, it runs my login.sql script. I've got a few uh, bits and pieces in my login.sql, but you can see there's the three SQLs at the bottom that we ran, the three statements, plus a few others as well. That's what's in the logs in terms of the SQLs I captured. But we captured more than just statements. We also captured details about where those statements were issued from. So if I go and generate what we call an allow list for that user called Scott, now we can dig more into the data dictionary views for the SQL firewall. If I go look in the allowed IP addresses for username Scott, you can see this is the IP address that launched those commands at the database. They're all from this laptop here. If I look at the allowed OS programs, you can see that they all came from sqlplus.exe. And if I look at the OS user, you can see it's HAMCDC. That's the, uh, the wonderful Microsoft account that came up on this laptop when I first installed Windows many years ago. But we've also captured, as you can see, not just SQL statements, but lots of other metadata as well. All of these things can now be used to decide what particular rules we would like to put in place with our firewall. And just for completeness, you can see we've actually captured the SQL statements as well. So now we can simply turn on our firewall. I simply call enable the allow list. And now I rerun my application and see how the firewall is working. I connect to Scott. I can run that first query, that was a valid SQL statement before. I can run select star from department, that was also a valid SQL statement. But now when I try a brand new SQL that the firewall never saw, it's blocked. So Oracle Database 23 AI has a very cool firewall technology inbuilt to make sure your applications stay very, very secure and away from nasty SQL statements, whether they come from the outside world or maybe just business users inside your department. Enjoy. Enjoy.